Mike Gilliland Audition Falls of Redemption Men roared from a nearby ship and a splatter of blood hit the water before another body in the blue robes of Valhia fell over the side of the trireme. Narsal swam the other direction. He hadn't been ready for this when he was standing his ground with the sword in his hands, and he certainly wasn't going to attempt to climb back only to meet his end. His fingers felt the soft sand before he processed that he was on the shore. He ran, his legs shaking and his mind spinning. When he reached the top of the hill, he paused to look back. He was a coward, and he knew it. But what he saw seemed to justify his cowardice. Men in the browns and grays of the north charged south, pushing back the few Valhian defenders that remained. Their ships were in retreat. In the midst of the chaos he spotted the flash of his brother's blue-plumed helmet, the bronze polished and bright in the sun. A short spear glinted, giving Narcel just enough notice to dive sideways. The spear clattered against the stones behind him. He turned to see a husky man wearing bronze armor with a brown cape, a sword gleaming. Narcel dodged the opposite direction and stared, horrified as the man turned him with an evil smile. Narcel! A voice shouted from nearby, distracting the man just long enough for Narsal to make a run for it. He heard footsteps behind him, and then a sickening crunch of bronze on bone. He turned back to see the man's head roll across to the ground. Bahia's army had recovered, or maybe it was reinforcements from Nethia. He stepped forward, hopeful, but was met by someone he least expected, the servant, Charos. Your sword, where is it? Charo shouted. I... Narsal stared as more men in dirtied clothes and used armor followed behind Charos, all servants. What were they doing on the battlefield? Had the situation deteriorated to such levels? 